Hi everyone! Today I would like to share how I made this summer flower vine bracelet. In order to make this bracelet, we need four strings, three for the flowers and one for the vine. First, fold all the strings in half and make one lark head knot using the green string. Take the green string on the right and make seven backward forward knots. Now take the green string on the left and make seven forward macro knots. Form a loop and attach it firmly onto the working surface. Now take the left green string and make one forward backward knot onto all the other seven strings. Now take the green string on the right side and place it aside. Divide the other six strings into equal two groups. Now take the green string on the right and make one double backward knot onto each of the group of strings. Take the green string on the left and make three forward backward knots onto the other green string. Now we start with the first petal. Every petal has five knots. First, place two of the color one strings in the center. We use red here. Make a triangle using four other strings, color two and three on each side, and place them on top of those two red strings. Now take the edge of the right red string and pass it through the right triangle. Now, take the edge of the left red string and pass it through the left triangle. Pull all the strings in each direction and form the first knot. Now, place the two red strings outside of the other two strings. Pass the red strings under the other strings. Take the red string on the right and make two backward forward knots onto color two and three strings.
take the red string on the left and make two forward backward knots on two color two and three strings. Place the color two strings, which are yellow here, in the center and switch the position. Use the right color two string, which is yellow here, and make one double four knot onto the blue string. Take the left yellow string and make one double backward knot onto the blue string. Now we work on the first outside petal. Take the red string and make five backward forward knots onto the yellow string. Now we move on to the only inside petal. We also make five knots but it is a little different. Take the red string on the left and make two forward backward knots onto the yellow string. Now, using the same red string, make one forward backward knot onto the closer green string and the yellow string. Continue using the red string. Now, make two forward backward knots onto the yellow string only. You can form a petal shape, sliding up the red knot. Now we close the first outside petal. Take the yellow string on the right side and make one backward forward knot onto the blue string. Push up that knot to form the petal shape. For the inside petal, take the yellow string and make one double forward knot onto the blue string. Now we make the second outside petal. Take the red string on the right and make five backward forward knots onto the yellow string. Take that yellow string and make one double backward knot onto the blue string to close that second petal. Now take the green string on the left and make three forward backward knot onto the other green string. Now we make the last petal of the first flower. 
Cross the two yellow strings and switch the position. Take the outside red string and make two backward forward knots onto both blue and yellow strings. Now take the inside red string and make two forward backward knots onto both yellow and blue strings. Now we close this last petal. Use the yellow and blue strings and make the triangle on top of the two red strings. Take the edge of the right red string and pass it through the right triangle. Take the edge of the left red string and pass it through the left triangle. Pull all the strings to each of the directions and form the last knot. Now divide the six flower strings into two equal groups. Take the green string, which is closer to the flower strings, and make one double forward knot onto each of the groups. Take the other green string and do the same thing. Now we move on to the second flower, which is going to be the mirror image of the first flower. Take the right green string and make three backward forward knots onto the other green string. Make a triangle with color 3 and color 1 on top of the color 2 strings. Pass two edges of the yellow strings inside each of the triangles. Place the left yellow string outside and make two forward backward knots onto the red and blue strings. Now take the right yellow string and make two backward forward knots onto the red and blue strings.
Now separate the two color three strings, which are blue, and switch the position in the center. Take the right blue string and make one double forward knot onto the red string. Take the left blue string and make one double backward knot onto the red string. Take the outside yellow string and make five four backward knots onto the blue string. Take the inside yellow string and make two backward forward knots onto the blue string. Use the same yellow string and make one backward forward knot on two one green and blue string. Now make two backward forward knots on two blue string only. Take the blue string on the left and make one forward backward knot onto the closer red string. Take the blue string on the right and make one double backward knot onto the closer red string. Take the outside yellow string and make five four backward knots onto the blue string. Take the blue string on the left and make one double forward knot onto the red string. Now take the green string on the right and make three backward four knots onto the other green string. Now take the two blue strings in the center and switch the position. Take the yellow string on the right and make two backward forward knots onto both red and blue strings.
take the yellow string on the left and make two forward backward knots onto both red and blue strings. Make the triangle using four red and blue strings on top of the two yellow strings. Make the last knot of the second flower. Take the closer green string and make two double backward knots onto each of the groups of strings. Do the same thing with the other green string. For the third flower, use the color three strings, which are blue, as the petal color. Place the two blue strings in the center, form the triangle using the red and yellow strings. The center color of this flower will be color one, which is red. Repeat the steps until it reaches the desired length. If the bracelet finishes with the right side flower, with the second green string, make one forward backward knot onto all the other seven strings. If the flower finishes on the left side, then make one backward forward knot onto all the other seven strings. Divide the eight strings into two equal groups. Make a twist braid on each side. Finish each of the braids with an overhand knot. Cut the excessive strings and you're done. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon.